Hello awesome viewers, this is Angelus Demonus, and this is a special video guide about how the hell do I play with only a keyboard. I'll try to do this in one shot so excuse any word fumbles. Yes, I play with what the cool kids label a full keyboard, or what some have said as piano mode. I very rarely have any need or any use for a mouse when I play Final Fantasy XIV, and I enjoy this game as well as any other person playing with a mouse keyboard or with a controller. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me about my setup and my key bindings, so if you've ever been curious about how it's possible, if you can even have any success and would like to try it for yourself, hopefully this guide will help you out and get you started. So let's get into the game. Uh, I'm gonna get out of G pose. Let me turn on my uh, keyboard UI so you can see me pressing keys as I'm doing it. All right. So first off. Uh, we have my general movement, and my general movement is the basic super standard W A S D. So as you see, it's just a normal movement. W is forward, S is back, uh, A D is left and right, and this is where it gets com um, interesting. Is with my camera movement. My camera movement is set to uh, the minus sign where the camera camera moves up, the open brackets where the camera moves down. Uh, P spins the camera to the left and then the closed brackets spin the camera to the right. So with the combination of that it gives me pretty fluid motion of my camera and kind of full control of it and then with the movement itself I can more or less uh, maintain the camera centered to my character as I move around and it's pretty fluid at least for gameplay and I know a couple people have said just watching it it's pretty fluid in general as a viewer. So that's how I kind of manage a lot of my movement and a lot of my um, camera motion when I'm playing this game. Uh, in terms of my movement settings, I have it set as legacy. So if I were to swap the standard real quick, the character based movement, uh, I would be pretty restricted. I can move forward normally, but then you know I'd be backpedaling, pressing the S, and then if I go left and right with the A and D, I would be going left and right. And my movement is pretty restricted here in terms of that. I can't really have that full range of motion, so that's why I go with legacy, because I can run uh, backwards, I can run left and right, I can have the full 360 motion. Uh, I'm not sure if a lot of people do lock on targets for their for their enemies, but I don't use it at all. Um, I just, you know, would run up to targets, etc. If I need to swap to another target, I'll just swap to another target, so on and so forth. Um, strafing, I do have bound, but I don't utilize strafing at all, because I just have kind of that full range of motion, so that's, that's mostly how my movement settings and my movement is in the game. Um, in terms of cycling and in terms of getting through party lists and menu, uh, let me open my inventory here. I use the O and the L key to cycle up and down to the menu. So as you can see here, my O moves up the menu and then my L moves down the menu. And if I had a party list, that would also work the same and that's kind of how I you know, pick party members to cure them, so on and so forth. The most important in terms of targeting and cursor is my Q and E, which is left and right. So Q will cycle targets to the left or towards the left, and then E will cycle targets towards the right. Um, my setup here, it makes it a lot more reliable in terms of picking the right target if there's multiple on the field. Uh, this is especially true in PvP and certainly in, in certain PvE instances where you have a lot of multiple enemies but you need to focus one down. That's my best um, set up to do so because tab key sometimes can be pretty unpredictable uh, especially if targets are moving you don't always know where it's going to tab key next uh, I've seen a lot of people complain about tab key I've complained about tab key uh, I use it sometimes depending on the situation or if I know it's going to target the right thing but for the most part I rely on my Q and E so pretty much how it works is it, it works off kind of the way my camera is based so for instance if I'm on the right side of this dummy and I hit Q I can always target it to my right because uh, to my left I'm sorry to my left it'll always target here and then if I'm standing on the left side of the dummy and I use my E key I can target to the right and it kind of shines when you're standing in between two targets here so so you can see the NPC and the striking dummies to my left. If I do Q, I will basically only target those. And then you see the two striking dummies on my right. I can target those with E because they go cycling to the right. And then let's say we have targets here. Let's say I'm standing in between these two dummies here. If I hit the Q, I'll get the one in the far like that. And then if I hit E, I'll get the one the closer one. And then if I have them angle this way, if I hit E, I'll get the farther one because that's the one that's theoretically close to my character. So that gives me a lot more um, control. Um, you know, a lot more, a lot less guessing in terms of where the target's going versus tab key. And 
I've been using that for a very long time and I'm used to it. Uh, I don't know how it would be if someone just kind of jumps into it and just starts using it. Then you might need some time, some practice to get used to that targeting system, but I find it really, really good and really, um, really reliable. Uh, my F keys, I want to bring up the F keys because I know a lot of people use like the F1, F2 for, for, target, uh, for party targeting and alliance targeting. Uh, for me, it's a little bit difficult to reach because my hands, I guess, are smaller. I, d I don't comfortably reach those buttons, but I still utilize those buttons. So let me open up my inventory once more. Um, I use F1 and F2 to traverse through tabs. So here you can see my F1 cycles tabs to the left and then my F2 cycles tabs to the right. Uh, this is useful for like retainers, uh, anything else that, that, that has kind of menus within menus. And then most importantly is my F3 and my F4 keys, which I use to traverse through the actual um, HUD layouts. So I can get to my main scenario quest here, I can get to the status bar in the bottom, I can get to the, the mini menu on the right, I can get to the duty list. And here, by doing that, I can get to, say, items that I need to use on NPCs or enemies like this, instead of having to, say, open up the menu and then get to that key item and then, you know, use it, etc. And then also for the status bar, uh, let's say we have buffs that we want to take out, uh, this is how I would do it. I would go to the status bar using my UI um, uh, shortcuts and then I would just hit enter and it would take it out. So uh, certain buffs you can do a macro, that's another way of doing it. You can set up a macro onto your hotbar and it takes them out. Or if you if you have a costume or a transformation where you can't do a macro, this is your best bet because your only other option is to take the mouse, you know, put the cursor over it, right click it to take it out. So that's how I do it without a mouse. Um, my hotbars, I'm not sure if you can see kind of the numbers in the setup, it's, it's a little bit small, but for the most part, it's set up as a 1 to 0 for a majority of my hotbars, and then a kind of a combination of uh, shift and alt and, and control, and then, you know, shift shift control, uh, alt shift, etc. to get to all my hotbars. Uh, because of the way my hands are positioned on the keyboard, I can have easy act most, most easy access from all 1 to 0 numbers. So here, just to hit the striking dummy here, you know, my 1 and my 2 and my 3 are my, kind of my primary uh, attack combo ones that I use. And then uh, 0, 9, and 8 are usually my primary, like, like, uh, crowd control, other other abilities, but easy to access. My 5, my 6, my 7 are kind of the less priority abilities that I have, usually like um, uh, here I have it for like my quick chat and potions and stuff that I won't use as often as say my main combo. Uh, it's only because it's a little bit far from my fingers to reach, sometimes I have to take out my, my hand off of my movement or my camera to get to those buttons. So that's why they're set there, but that's just, you know, my personal preference. And then for me, I also have set, like, you know, shift control, etc. for, um, like, teleports. So I have, like, um, I have, like, control plus, etc. to get to my teleportation. And those are kind of, you know, buttons that are a little bit... Uh, take a little bit more effort to press, but then I don't have to use them in combat and so forth. And I have them also for like job changing and whatnot. Um, so that's my hotbar. Uh, lastly, and not least, is you want to adjust some of your shortcuts. If you're going full keyboard, uh, there's a lot of UI and HUD display, um, HUD menu items that will that will be set as default that can conflict with the way you do your keyboard. So for instance, like. Uh, for me, I kept like I, which is my inventory. I kept M, which is my menu, uh, my map. I'm sorry, my Y, which is my fishing menu. But if they conflict with the way your keyboard is playing, so let's say we're, we're fighting an enemy here, and sometimes you know you might hit a combination, and then you 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 randomly open a menu here, or you, you know you might get something here that couldn't you know cause some issues. You might you might get blinded for an instance just because you accidentally hit it and you weren't expecting to hit it. Um, but you can quickly, of course, escape from it. But one of the more dangerous ones is if you accidentally are hitting buttons and you accidentally open chat and see you see me pressing buttons but then I'm not moving and that's kind of a, a big tragedy one that you want to be careful with. Uh, I've run into that a lot of times. Sometimes I think I'm lagging and like, you know, my character is frozen but it's actually me opening the chat. So that time you want to be careful and there's a lot of chat shortcuts that are pretty easy like, you know, Alt L for like link shell so forth and that can cause a problem if you accidentally hit those comments. And sometimes you don't even realize that you're just hitting so many buttons and you know stuff like that just opens up. So you want to be careful with the shortcuts, kind of move around things so you don't run into that problem. Um, also, if some of you do key bindings for letters, I know some of, some people like to do that instead of the numbers, that's also a concern. So you want to shift things around so you don't run into that issue. So in conclusion, uh, if you're trying to 
do like a full keyboard setup or you'd like to try it and you're having some difficulty you're running into issues uh, feel free to comment below I'll, I'll I'll respond to you I'll try to help you out as best as I can um, I know that over the years I've kind of tweaked and, and adjusted a lot of my key bindings here and there so I don't really remember everything that I've changed I certainly didn't cover everything that I have so um, but I'm certainly happy to clarify and help you out and all that stuff if you run into any issues so just throw some comments and all that um, sometimes just you know watching actual gameplay might give you a better idea of how it actually works how it could be successful and you know seeing it in action so forth uh, this guide might give you a little bit bas the basic but it may not give um, give enough justice to how it actually works in action so if you catch me live on stream one time or you see you can check out some of the videos on this channel uh, anything that I'm playing that Angelus Demonus is playing that is a full keyboard sometimes I have my keyboard UI on sometimes I don't but that is it in action so you can see how it works um, and how I have success with it so that will about wrap up my guide for a full keyboard and piano mode uh, I hope it was helpful to anyone that was watching I hope to try to see more people giving it a shot and hopefully having success as I have and that'll be really cool to hear so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.